Let's do the electrical life of uh, Louis Wayne. Strange, tragicomic, biographical picture from Will Sharp, best known for Flowers, the series. So inspired by the life of the titular artist who lived from 1860 to 1939, he became famous for anthropomorphised paintings of cats with huge eyes, not unlike the paintings of Margaret Keane, who you remember was the subject of Tim Burton's film Big Eyes. Um, I think we interviewed... Oh, yeah. yeah. We did an interview for that. Um, there is, in fact, there is a bit of a kind of yes. Burton-esque off-kilter fantasy element at work here. Benedict Cumberbatch is Louis Wayne, who is an eccentric inventor. Claire Foy is Emily, the love of his life, with whom he strikes up an initially awkward relationship, but in whose company he finds purpose, and without whom he is bereft. You make the world beautiful. And warm. I just wanted to say thank you for that before it's too late. I don't make the world beautiful, Louis. The world is beautiful. And you've helped me to see that too. Just remember, hmm? however hard things get, however much you feel like you're struggling, the world is full of beauty. And it's up to you to capture it, Louis, to look. and to share it with as many people as you can. You are a prism through which that beam of life refracts. So they take in a stray cat, they become prototype cat people, which isn't the social norm. He becomes a trailblazer in terms of human cat interactions. And his life continues, his inventions continue. He's particularly obsessed with electricity and its capacity to heal. And he becomes increasingly erratic and succumbs to mental health issues. But his drawings of cats continue and they are the thing upon which, you know, he's kind of... Um, his career is based. It's a very strange film, designed to within an inch of its life, skirting the boundaries of fact and fiction. I mean, some of it is not unlike the early sections of Amanda Yanucci's version of Personal History of David Copperfield. You know, you get the sense that this reality is constantly teetering on the brink of collapsing to reveal another reality behind it. I mean, I was completely unfamiliar with the story of Louis Wayne, so I have no idea of how much of what I've seen on screen is true and how much is fiction invented so I approach the whole thing as a kind of Munchausen style story um, and there is more than a dab of Gilliam in there particularly the way in which the scream is framed and constructed because it's almost like what you're watching is an animated film that just happens to be live action there's a lovely score by Arthur Sharp who is the brother of Will and as I said going into it knowing absolutely nothing of this story at all I thought it was a, a fascinating odd strange tragicomic weird you know a lot of the time you're thinking what I, I, where what where is this going but in a rather intriguing way in a rather enchanting way and i i i do like the fact that like i said it looks like a, a it looks like an animated film that just happens to be live <laughs> 